My name is Victor Wind, and I am Chancellor of the Last Tuesday Society, and this is the Victor Wind Museum of Curiosities, Fine Art and Natural History in deepest, darkest Hackney in the East End of London. So my name is Ali, and we are at the Last Tuesday Society a cocktail bar in East London above Victor Wynne's Museum of Curiosities. The weirdest and most unusual venue in London. We had a couple come in and donate a human spine because they were moving to America and they didn't think that they could put it in their hand luggage going through customs. We're actually creating a cup of life which is made from a Victorian human skull which will be coming at Halloween. So pop down at Halloween and have the chance to drink out of a human's head. I woke up one morning and I was bored and I wanted to build a proper curiosity museum full of sort of wonders and marvels the way it used to be before the dastardly enlightenment got in the way and ruined the fun and decided everything needed to be categorised and given a meaning. I don't know what it means, I just think it looks pretty so I buy it and I put it here. This museum of mine has many wonderful and odd things. It has the skull of a convicted and executed felon. It has drawings by England's most notorious and violent prison inmate, Charles Bronson. We have shrunken heads, we have human skulls, and human skeletons, and a two-headed lamb. We have a the skull of a, a cyclops, headhunters' trophies. We have the mummified finger of Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa. We have things that are worth more than gold, like dodo bones the gold-plated skull of a hippopotamus that once belonged to the world's richest man, the drug dealer Pablo Escobar. We have a sarcophagus with a human skeleton in it. The museum and bar opened about two years ago. Well, it used to be a shop, the little Victor Wynne's little shop of horrors. And we sold all these things. But we, well, I wasn't, I wasn't very good at selling things, and it, it was always a, a struggle. And then I, I was going to close it, and uh, people were quite upset. And then someone suggested, why don't you run a crowdfunder thing? So we, um, we got official recognition to be a museum, and then we, we launched a crowdfunding campaign, and 500 people chipped in that paid for us to, to convert and build the museum. I always think as I improve, rather than selling things, we now sell people drinks, and people can come and, have, and drink cocktails. And I always tell people, the more you drink, the better the museum gets. We always say, have a drink before you go downstairs just to brace yourself for it, and then you go down, and then afterwards you maybe need another one just to sort of digest everything that you just saw. So there is that relationship between the two that works well. I thought when we opened we'd be like Woolworths, there'd be one on every road, but I discovered why there weren't any proper curiosity shops around. There aren't people to buy things. But there are bars on every corner, so people do want drinks. So we sort of combine the, uh, the things I like with the things that people want. We want to attract people who are are interested in the the other side of, of life really and we don't I don't want you know we're no better than anywhere else there's probably much much better places but we are what we are we're a small little place in the back end of Hackney in a converted call center I'm not happy here but no need for you to be happy here there's other places to be happy who wants happiness anyway when you can have a shrunken head happiness is a shrunken head We've got a cocktail called the Shrunken Head. You can drink a, a Shrunken Head while looking at a Shrunken Head. And if you're really terribly nice to me, I might even let you hold my Shrunken Head.